Good morning guys, this is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA. It is July the 20th, 2017 at about 9.42 and one half a.m. It is already warm, it's 89 top up degrees and a little humid. Not what you'd want to be out in today. Anyway, having said that, the topic for our discussion this morning will be how to deal with the daily issues slash problems that happen as we live. Life is a continual continuum of little problems. What, what, what we used to call them problems. The new word for that is issues. Okay, but be that what be whatever they are, they're irritating little boogers. And I'm driving down uh, Park Road 4, fixing to get on Road 2342 and head towards Kingsland, Texas and run over this biker if I'm not careful. You know, we don't have a biker path here in Texas, so they ride on the highway. They come up here from Austin, Texas, and they don't know that these old country folks like me are not looking for them. But anyway, having said that, back to issues and problems. Daily issues and problems how to deal with them for example while I was on my little camping trip found out I had a leaky toilet so I got home tried to fix it made a mistake stripped the threads and ended up having to buy a new toilet finally got that installed and that little issue problem was solved but you have to stay with it or it will not get solved if it's within your control you can fix it now here's another one. <clears throat> While I was gone, I put my, I live in a country, a rural area, and my only option, real option for internet, Wi-Fi, is either use the hotspot on my phone, which is, just drains the battery, or use a Wi-Fi service. We have one pretty good one. Well, I thought so. It's not anymore. It's called RISE, R-I-S-E, Broadband, and they cover about six or seven states. Texas being one of them. I had their service before I went on my little trip. Had a great plan. It was $28 a month, including all taxes and fees for 50 gigabytes a month. That's all I ever used. I rarely used more than 40. So it was a great plan for me. I'd had it for three years. <clears throat> and when I came back, I wanted to, I put, they told me while I was gone, I could put it on vacation. They charged me $10 a month. And when I came back, they would restart the service. No charge, I'd be on the same old plan. Great, so I go, come back, get ready, try to restart the service, get a bill for twice as much, call them on the phone. They say, well, the, the plan I was on no longer exists, so I have to go to the new plan on a two-year contract or I don't have any Wi-Fi. Well, anyway, I dropped it. I just started using my phone hotspot. Then I receive a call from customer resolution saying, yeah, they could restart me on my old plan at $28 a month, 50 gigabytes, 5 megabyte download speed, which was okay. I could watch anything using that. And um, so I did it. But they also added one little caveat. He had to have a one-year contract. I thought, well, that's okay. I've been with them three years. What's one more year going to be anyway? There's not anything else out here available. So I did that. And they said they would have somebody come out on the 25th to install it. Well, then they called a few days ago, said they'd have someone out this morning to install it. So I thought, well, that's great. So I'll have my Rise Broadband Wi-Fi service starting today, July the 20th. The man shows up about 8.45 a.m. He had driven about 70 miles to get here <clears throat> to my home. And uh, everything that was there before was still there. There's a little pole. They put the radio thing on and put it up in the air and connect it to their signal somewhere uh, their radio tower whatever it is and you're good to go well he looked at it and he said well can't do that I said what you can't do what we don't do this anymore you don't do what anymore we don't put the radios on those towers anymore poles but he said I'll check and see if if I can do it they say it's a safety issue so, well, whatever. They told me they'd reinstall it today. So uh, he said, well, they'll be calling you. But uh, anyway, they did. A girl called me a little later, said they couldn't install it because they no longer did that. I said, well, you know, it was like that when I went on vacation. 
and uh, when I y'all got up there and took it down so if you can take it down can't you put it back we don't do that anymore of course she was in that corporate loop you know here's what you say over and over and over which is fine I understand she's just doing her job everybody's just doing their job and so here's now here's this is another problem now this is a problem that's out of my control okay now this is an issue where I can't fix it okay in other words I can't connect to their radio tower by creating something on my own it ain't gonna happen so there's two kinds of issues that you deal with in life one that are under your control and others that are not under your control if they are not under your control get over it forget it it's done you know I mean if you can't if you don't have any way to control it or overcome it or whatever then just turn the page on that and go to the next one that's it so what have I done I've done that so what will I do I'll use my little hot spot on my phone like I've been doing for since I got back okay is it a problem no it's just more convenient to have the uh, Wi-Fi service and it's also the Wi-Fi is a little faster because the Verizon signal in my area is not all that super great anyway we're coming into Lano County when we cross this well when we get on the bridge we're in Lano County this is crossing the Colorado River and it's very scenic here as you can see well you can't see for that bridge so let me put it over here and maybe you can see but anyway that's the Colorado River one of the major rivers in Texas but anyway dealing with life's little problems and issues two types one you can control others that are out of your control and what's the game we play now if they're out of your control forget it wipe it out don't dwell on it don't linger but if it's a toilet type issue that you can repair do it and get over it if it's a Wi-Fi issue when you're dealing with a corporation who doesn't give a damn about you uh, just forget it go on either find another service or just find a way around it or forget it you know look at your options if there's a realistic one you can accomplish do it do it do it anyway this is Kingsland Texas for you new subscribers I come here all the time there's a little grocery store here called HEB that I go to and there's another one in Marble Falls called HEB that I go to occasionally to get groceries and uh, this little community is probably I don't know I'm gonna say 2,000 or less people maybe a thousand in the summers uh, it's busy because there's a lot of lake houses that are unoccupied in the winter that are occupied in the spring and summer. And so I'm going to get my mail today. If I get some mail, I'll do a mail call. If I don't, I won't. And that's the end of that. So what's the good news? The good news is that, we're, and I was going to restart my garbage service too. I'm telling you, here's another, I'll give you another little issue and I'll continue driving here. This is King, Kingsland, Texas, USA. <clears throat> Anyway, I was going to restart my garbage service and get me a Matilda back, okay? So I called my existing, or the, the garbage service I had, I can't get anybody to answer the phone. I left messages, I sent them emails, nothing. Okay, so I said, okay, to hell with them. Go to somewhere else. So I found another one called Republic that, that has service in my area, residential service, garbage pickup. Got a guy on the phone. Uh, he told me it was uh, 30 or excuse me $28 a month and there was no startup fee you paid every three months so okay so the next day I called back just to verify it because I hadn't gotten an email from anybody confirming anything so I thought I better double check so I did I called back and that's something else you need to do folks get used to follow up follow up follow up because if you don't 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 things won't 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 happen so called the company again got another guy on the phone told him uh, that I had started to serve my service and he said well it, yeah he said I see it right he said it's $35 a month I said hey man whoa 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 it was I was told yesterday it was 28 how to get to 35 in one day he said well they add a bunch of fees or he didn't say bunch of fees he named them and uh, I said well man I, I, I wish he had told me that yesterday he said, well, it, I, I said, it's $35 a month. He said, no, no, man, it's $35 every three months. I said, so you mean it's $12 a month? Yeah, he said, it's $35 every three months. He said, you pay every three months, 
I said, well, hell, let's do it. And he said, well, there's a $40 uh, installation fee or whatever, a trash can fee or something. And I said, well, uh, the guy yesterday said there wasn't any. He said, that's okay, I'll waive the $40 fee. So I said, well, confirm it with email. Okay, you would. I gave my email address. So the next morning, I checked my email. Still no confirmation. Thought I better follow up one more time. So I did. I called and I get a girl on the phone and I explained what the deal is. She said, well, let me check. And uh, she said, uh, well, it's uh, $35 a month, including all taxes and fees. And there's a $40 startup fee. And I said, man, I was just told yesterday it was $35 for three months, and he waived the startup fee or garbage can delivery fee or whatever the hell it was. Well, you know, to make a short story longer, uh, she went on to explain that the guy had made a mistake, obviously, and I thought, you know, because I told her if it sounds too good to be true, it is, and this one did sound too good, $12 a month, ha, ha, ha. So... Turns out, it would have, I would have gotten a bill, had I not followed up, I would have gotten a bill at the end of three months for $145. Okay, three months times $35 a month plus $40 for this fee that he supposedly waived, but he didn't. So that's another little issue. So what did I do? I canceled the service. The ima I canceled the imaginary service, all right? Now what will I do? What I'm doing right now and was doing for a long time, I did it for years, I, I, I create and trash about two 13 gallon bags, no, one 13 gallon bag a week, one full one. So, but what I do is, is I, three times a week, I take the trash in small bags and when I buy gasoline, I just put it in their trash can. So that's the end of that. I used to burn trash, but because it's been so dry up here, uh, I used to burn all the burnable stuff and then take the plastic bottles, if any, and aluminum cans to a recycling place in Kingsland. But because it's been so dry, there is a burn ban. You cannot burn trash. You can't do burn anything outside because the grass is dry and it will go up like crazy. I mean, it'll catch on fire real easy. So, again, those are just little issues that I face. I'm 72 years old, and uh, but you know, you just got to deal with them. It's kind of like bowling. You just got to knock them down one pin at a time, and uh, that's the way it is. You know, that's and do they ever stop? No, no, they don't. <laughs> those, little, those little issues never give up because every day that you wake up, uh, you're going to be facing some little issue, quote, problem during that day. Now, it may be a real insignificant one or really minor, something you can just take care of real quick. You know, like maybe you spill a bowl of cereal. Well, you know, that's a little problem there. you got to clean up your mess. So, I mean, things just happen. I guess in summary in this video, my point is don't let life whip you. Don't let life get ahead of you. If you have some little problems to deal with, face them, get over them, and go on. And that goes for even issues or problems in dealing with people. If you have some people that irritate the crap out of you, then avoid the shit out of them. Don't get around them. You know, if, you have a, if you're around some negative Nancys or, or negative Freds or whatever you want to call them, Get away from it. You know, stand guard at the door of your mind. And, uh, you know, it's your life. You know, you can let in what you want, but in my opinion, you'll sleep a lot better uh, dealing with life realistically and facing it head on. So having said that, guys, I'm headed to the post office. I'm going the back way, obviously. This road goes by a golf course up here on the left. This is Kingsland, Texas, USA. It's a little bitty resort community, I guess you'd say. It's on Lake LBJ. Lake LBJ is formed by the Colorado River and the Llano Rivers. They join right here. 
and form a nice lake that is constant level. It's got a dam and uh, it's part of what's called the Highland Lakes. And that's that. But there's a lot of vacation here, vacationers here. And we have some, quote, winter Texans that uh, rent places here by the hundreds. But having said that, deal with life as it comes at you. Don't get behind the curve because if you let your problems stack up, that leads to depression because you seem like you're overloaded. Here's another way to easily deal with them is uh, sit down with a paper and pen and write down what you feel are your current problems or quote issues. Write them down. Just write them down on a sheet of paper in no order whatsoever. Roll them up, fold that little note up, how many ever's on there, doesn't matter if it's one or a thousand. Fold it up, put it in an envelope, date it 30 days from today. 30 days from today, open the envelope and see how many of those issues still exist, if any. What you will find in most cases is that they are all resolved. Either you did it, or it just happened, period. So here on the left is what used to be called Pack Saddle Golf Course, is now called the Lighthouse Golf Course, and there are some gophers, golfers. Pretty little golf course, I've played here several times. They have a tournament every Friday. I could still do it, but I don't. It, you know, it's amazing. Uh, I never, I mean, I reached a peak in golf and then that was the end of that. I got pretty good though. I mean, I was a threat. I mean, if you, I was about a 12 handicap, 12 honest handicap, that's different. And I promise you, you give me 12 strokes, you better be, you better be on the tour because I'm going to, I'm going to birdie a hole every now and then and you're going to be a deep doo-doo. And every time I par, you got a birdie to beat me ain't gonna happen so anyway guys central texas thumbs up carpe diem adios bye 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 usa made when you can drink plenty of water two or three quarts a day will not hurt you you may pee pee like a racehorse or a two or three peckered possum but you'll feel a hell of a lot better you also may not have gout and you may not get kidney stones from drinking plenty of water it flushes all that crap out uh what else uh breathe in Take deep breaths, breathe in through your nose, deep, hold it, breathe out through your mouth several times a day because that relieves stress, relieving stress will lower your blood pressure. Check it out. Those two things right there will help you live a long time. Just those two simple things. Stretch, walk, do a little exercise, eat right, try to. Eat less, eat less, eat less, deep breaths, plenty of water those three things right there keep you alive for a hell of a long time anyway guys from central texas thumbs up adios bye bye enjoy your day life's little problems huh.